Just when you think you have it all figured out in the seed industry, a whole bunch of new seed treatments hit the market and it's not just Cruiser Max on the market anymore. Now there's Acceleron, there's Trilex 6000, and another new one called Innovate. Well, a few years ago, we started looking real hard at soybean seed treatments. We've been using inoculant, we've been using quick roots. I mean, those things are no brainers. They make money every year. But there were a few people that were starting to use Cruiser Max. And, you know, initially we thought, well, do we really need anything? Because, yeah, it may be great on bean leaf beetles, but it's only kind of marginal on soybean aphids. Those are the only two real bugs we have. But you know what? We were spraying bean leaf beetles early yep. every year. We had that early flush of bean leaf beetles hitting our first emerging soybeans. And you know what? We could go out and spray for a couple bucks, but we're pretty busy that time of year. So, yep. And then the other thing that was in that Cruiser Max is fungicide. Well, with fungicide, that's hit and miss. Some years you gain five bushels and a lot of years you gain none. Well, on the average, it probably pays, but we just thought, well, why, why do we really want to mess around with this? Well, then Trilex 6000 came out and we thought, well, this is a little bit better product. So we started using Trilex 6000. We actually used that on all of our soybean acres this year. And there was a definite difference in stand. We definitely controlled our bean leaf beetles and we had a great reduction in soybean aphids. So we only had to spray our fields one time for soybean aphids this year instead of twice. So it was a big deal for us. We really liked that on our farm, but you know, we continue searching for something better all the time and that's when we ran across this seed treatment from Valent called Innovate. They're working in a combination with Chemtura on some new stuff so we were trying these things out on our farm this year side by side versus what we already had with Trilex 6000 and Cruiser Max and you know what this Innovate stuff looked actually really good for well, us. Well we knew there were going to be some advantages because we knew on the market uh, basically when it comes to corn you're looking at either uh, Gaucho uh, Poncho or Cruiser Max and the Poncho Cruiser not or, or Max. Cruiser yes. sorry Cruiser and so there are three different insecticides basically all from the same neonicotinoid family but it seems like in corn the best one consistently was always that Poncho that was always a little bit better but we didn't have that technology available well, in the, beans. Yeah but the other thing is what Valent has done with that Poncho is they've taken that same chemistry and they have basically made it a little bit better it's kind of the same thing when we used to have Frontier they changed that to Outlook we used to have Dual they made that to dual two or dual magnum I should say. A lot of these products initially they've got one thing well then they kind of refine it take a lot of the stuff that doesn't necessarily do anything out of there so they get down to the true active. So this poncho seems to be a little bit better than the poncho we were dealing with before. We also have metal axle in there which is basically the same thing as apron and then there's a new fungicide called Ipconazole that is in this combination of Innovate. So it's three different things and they're all systemic. That's the thing that we really like. So different than anything else on the market, different than Trilex 6000 or Cruiser Max, we've got Innovate that's completely systemic. It's exactly what we're looking for. We've seen it on our farm now. It does work a little bit better. So this is what we're gonna be using on our beans next year. Well, it all comes down to that you do have a choice now. It's not just it, either there's one thing or there's nothing. Now there's several different choices on the market. So guess what? Uh, you need to go back to school just a little bit and learn about what's actually in some of these different products and figure out what's right for your farm. Now for us, uh, as Brian mentioned, we have seen some differences stepping up to the newer technology when it comes to seed treatments. We're seeing a little bit better control of the insects in our fields and also the fungicide portion of those seed treatments is changing. So we're getting fungicides that are more systemic in the plant that can do a little bit more, control a little wider array of diseases. It all comes down to more yield on your farm. So there are some different advantages with the new seed treatments. We're talking about Innovate today. You'll have to check it out for your farm and see what the price differences are between different products and which certain fungicides and insecticides are included in each seed treatment you may consider for your farm. Well, seed treatments are great, but unfortunately, none of them will stop our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what will coming up later in the show.